Yes, come in. Hi, Mr. Morris. I'm Michaela. I'm going to be your nurse today. Hi, good to meet you. Can I just start by asking you your name and birth date? Uh, yes, uh, I'm Gerald Morris. I was born January 1st, 1939. Uh, I'm 76 years old. Good. I'm going to ask you a few questions today about how you're doing. Okay. Um, first, I'm going to start by asking you, are you on any medications? Uh, no, I've been a mostly healthy man up to this point. Can you tell me about your culture? Uh, sure. I was born here in the United States. Uh, I grew up here in Boston, actually. Uh, I'm an active member of the church, and I have been for many years. Great. Okay. And can you tell me your highest level of education? Uh, yes, I have a law degree. I was a practicing attorney, and I was very successful in my work. I'm quite proud of it. Great. It's really something to be proud of. My next question is, how would you describe yourself to others? I would describe myself as caring, family-oriented, successful, uh, hard-working. Awesome. Those are some great qualities to have. Thank you. Have you ever been treated for any psychological problems? Uh, no, I've never been treated for any. Okay. Who do you consider to be your family? Um, well, I have a wife and son. Uh, I'm very close to my brothers and sisters. Uh, my family means the world to me, and they've always been there for me throughout my life. Mm -hmm. I'm very thankful for that. Great, it's always great to have a great family to count on. Can you describe your life as a child? Um, uh, yes, I had a great life growing up. Uh, my parents were excellent, caring, loving, respectful people, and they taught me to be the same way. Awesome. Can you tell me about how you're feeling right now regarding your health? Well, I, I know I'm dying, but nobody's officially told me yet. I can, I can just feel it. Okay, and how are you coping with that feeling, whether it's correct or not? Well, I think of the fact that I've had such a wonderful life, and I realize that if it's my time to go, that's okay. Uh, I have a great wife, great family, I love my son very much, I've had a successful job, and I feel fulfilled in life. I don't want to die, but if it's my time, that's okay. Okay. Well, it sounds like you have had a very fulfilling life. Um, that concludes my questions for the day. I'm going to discuss some things with my colleagues, and we'll get back to you very shortly. Sounds Thank great. Thank you for your time, and thank you for answering all my questions. Thank you. Hi, I just want to talk to you about our patient, Mr. Morris. Okay, sure. Mr. Morris is a 76-year-old male that has a po positive biopsy for advanced stomach cancer. His family didn't want us to tell him his diagnosis just yet, but after I performed a psychological assessment on him, I believe he's ready to hear his diagnosis. What evidence do you have that he is mentally capable of receiving the news? Well, Mr. Morris seems to be in Erickson's ego integrity stage of his life. He seems to be very satisfied with his life. He has a supportive family. He met all his goals in life, and he's very happy. He's also completely confident and well-educated. Okay, well from your assessment notes that I see here, I would agree that he seems to be prepared. I think we should refer him to an oncologist so we can better understand his diagnosis, and a social worker to help him cope with his diagnosis. We should also speak to his primary care physician about pain management methods, because he's obviously in extreme pain. Mm -hmm. Good idea. I also came up with a nursing diagnosis that I wanted to run by you for Mr. Morris. The diagnosis I came up with is readiness for enhanced coping related to his ability to understand events and provide realistic appraisal of the situation as evidenced by him saying, so if this is my time to go, I accept it. I agree. From the data you've collected, I think that it's safe to talk to the physician about telling Mr. Morris about his diagnosis. He seems to be mentally competent enough to cope with his diagnosis in a healthy way. Mm -hmm.